This time, uh, we're going to proceed with the science, technology, and society in the Middle Ages. So previously, I have I presented to you some of the those people involved in the development of science and technology in the ancient times. But this time, we are going to have during uh, SCS in Middle Ages. Okay. First one is that the discovery of windmill. So windmill, ayan, before meron na palang windmill, windmill, and a water pumping windmill is spring in Spring, Arizona provides water for agricultural use. In uh, in other areas in Masbate, we have this windmill already. The blades or sails are mounted at a oblique angle on the horizontal shaft. And the fan tail rudder steers the bladed wheel into steerers the blade uh, wind to maximize the windmill's efficiency. Next is a square rigger. Shown sailing near Fred Rested St. Crox in Square Rigger, Denmark, a modern example of a 15th century sailing ship with rectangular sails and the main mast, foremast, and rear mizzen mast. Kung mapapansin nyo, in terms of the development for the transportation and for agricultural uh, domestication of animals, keep on upgrading mula sa ancient times ngayon and the modern times, medyo okay na siya. Medieval, I mean. Then, there is already the Punton de Bosch Plain. The Puntons allow the, this bush plane to land on Lake Abitibi in Ontario, Canada. Sea planes have a variety of uses, but they are particularly vulnerable to bush pilots who must frequently make landings in rugged, rugged limited access areas. It was discovered or it was invented a pantoon bush plane for the purpose of those areas na limited. Na karamihan uh, ang makikita na lang are uh, water uh, entire bodies of water. So they were able to have to invent the pantoon bush plane para pwede sila makapagland even in water. Next is that the micros the microscope in 18th century. Uh, this drawings actually the drawings that uh, yung nakikita niyo is that shows the compound microscope used in 18th century in France. It was first developed in the late 16th century and a compound microscope used two or more sets of lenses to achieve high magnification kasi before in order to magnify a certain mic a certain slide or a certain specimen they are using a uh, uh, different sets of lenses as compared today hindi na wala nang hindi na gumagamit ng lenses there are highly uh, highly equipped uh, microscope magagandang microscope per in ano na siya electronic my electronic sc uh, scanning microscope and there are electron microscope na talagang highly technical na siya compared before na kailangan pa nilang palit palitan si lens ang lens kailangan palitan for how many times just to achieve the magnification that a certain biologist or scientist desired. Next, weapons of medieval, medieval warfare. Mapapansin nyo dyan, the weapons are slightly polished na compared doon sa unang pictures na napan, nakita natin in the ancient times na parang it's just a stones, parang dinikit lang sa kahoy. It serve as uh, ano na, weapons na nila. During the Middle Ages, European society developed into a political and military system as known as feudalism. This, meron na nga, no, uh, during the medieval time, meron ng feudalism. Living under the threat of invasions from foreigners, the people of Europe also developed a different kind of weaponry. Mounted warriors known as the cavalry could move quickly and strike hard with axes, pikes, lances, and two-edged swords longer than those used by men on foot. Magkakaiba-iba na. In other, parang there is a distinction or there is a varied weapons being used by different people. Iba-iba ang gagamit ng men and foot, iba ang gagamit ng swords, iba ang para sa cavalry. Okay. So much for the development. Let's proceed to those uh, 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 brilliant people during the medieval times. Let's have Galileo Galilei. He is an Italian physicist and astronomer. Galileo maintained that the Earth revolved around the Sun. Disputing the belief, this is in accordance with the idea of Nicholas Copernicus that the Sun is the center of the universe. But during the time of Galileo, there is a dispute that 
the belief held by the Roman Catholic Church that the earth was the center of the universe. It is because it was believed It is a belief of the religious sectors before that the earth is really the center of the universe. That is the reason why most of the scientists uh, an- they ex- experience, naka-experience nila ng so much rejections, uh, dis- disapproval coming from the church. From- It is because most of their inventions, uh, most of their discoveries are against are against to that of the discoveries of the, the scientist. Kaya, mapapansin nyo, na-discover ngayon, it, it takes almost hundreds of years, almost, uh, cent- not, uh, it takes long years bago siya na, bago siya na-approve, bago siya na-present sa scientific community. He refused to obey orders from Rome to cease discussions of his theories and was sentenced to life imprisonment. Kasi ang discovery niya, parang inaatake niya ang, ang paniniwala ng simbahan. Kasi, Uh, his idea is in, accor- is in in accordance with the heliocentrism. It was not until 1984 that a papal commission acknowledged that the church was wrong. Doon pa lang inadmit ng church na mali talaga that it is not the earth serving as the center of the universe but it's but it's the sun. Okay, let's proceed with Rene Descartes or Rene Descartes. The first modern philosopher and founder of the rationalist school, René Descartes used reason in mathematics to analyze the world. Descartes' book Meditations on the First Philosopher offered a proof of the existence of God founded on reasons, not faith. Descartes deduced a truth about the outer world based on his sensual perception of it. This method of reasoning became standard philosophical procedure. Because of the idea presented by René Descartes, here comes now the philosophical procedure in, in presenting an idea of a certain expert, of a certain brilliant uh, scientist. Next, we have Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton, or Isaac Newton derived the law of universal gravitation. In- invented a branch of mathematics called calculus and performed important experiments dealing with the nature of light and color, yung optics. Ngayon, tinawag na natin siya. Before, it's just the nature of light, it's just the nature of color, but this time, let's, we have the optics. Newton's discovery of gravity inspired research of natural laws. The idea that man could unlock the secrets of the natural world helped to bring about the age of enlightenment. The reason and education earned a higher status than religion in the society that emerged from this new age. During the medieval times, the discovery of Isaac Newton on the uh, on universal gravitation paved the way that uh, doon ay nagsimula ang kinematics, ang mechanics na tinatawag natin that there is universal gravitation, there is contact, non-contact forces, that every object, every matter present in the surroundings ay nag 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 occur or may nag it contains the so-called the universal gravitation or forces in it okay and that's for uh, science and technology in medieval times now 